So we've just landed in Split and we're about to start seven days sailing across the islands of Croatia with Bus About. I cannot wait. Let's go. And so, with our bags packed, we jumped on board our boat, met our fellow travellers and of course our trusty crew, and hit the waters setting sail for an ocean adventure like none other. From the very first day, it was obvious that we were in a pretty special part of the world, and that the feeling of the wind in your hair and the sun on your back while sailing at sea was something that we'd get used to. This is Captain Tony. <laughs> We are off on our way to our first destination, Starry Grad. Gonna have a bit of a swim stop and then check out the city. These are some of the most pristine waters I've ever seen in my life and jumping in from the boat was the best way to cool down from the European summer heat. Even if at times they weren't the most graceful of dives. We've actually survived and made it to our first destination. We're gonna go check out the city, go for a little bit of a feed, explore the area, and hit the clubs. Havar was the perfect beginning for our trip around Croatia. Cobblestone streets and alleyways littered this stunning waterside town. And a few of us hiked up to the top of the old fort for a very Instagram-worthy upload. Check out this view. One of my favourite things about this week is being able to pull into different ports every day and just explore really beautiful coastlines. One of our most serene stops was in Miet, where we explored the tranquil oasis of the National Park. It was a stunning contrast of dense bush and thick vegetation against some of the clearest waters I've ever seen. A couple of us have separated from the group and jumped on a boat to check out the monastery here in Miet. It was a great way of taking a break, having some alone time and getting to know some of the locals. Oh, look at you. But my favourite stop of the trip was probably one of Croatia's hidden little gems. Alright guys, so welcome to Korcha. So this is the home of Marco Polo. Korcha is a tiny seaside town and it's pretty quiet. But getting to swim surrounded by the town walls in the most amazing waters ever was indescribable. This island is amazing. One of my favourite places so far. Our tour leader took us up for an afternoon drink. And yeah, I mean up onto the top of a tower on the town walls overlooking the sea. I mean, come on, you can't really beat this for a local drinking hole. I have to admit, unlike a lot of my sailing buddies, I'm not the biggest Game of Thrones fan. But let me tell you, there are a lot of people very excited to hit up Dubrovnik. We've just arrived in Dubrovnik and we're taking a walk along the city walls. The sun is out and it's a gorgeous day. Seeing the city from this unique perspective was a fantastic experience, even if it was a long and tiring walk for such a hot day. But hey, there are ways of cooling off. It's meant to be the best ice cream in Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik is a big city in comparison to some of our other stops and that obviously meant one thing, a very big night out. We just got ready, about to have a huge night in Dubrovnik. Woo! Dubrovnik! So in hindsight, starting a night partying in Croatia with buckets may not have been the smartest idea for an amateur like myself, but hey, when in Dubrovnik. We're about to go in a nightclub in a fortress. Revelin is a Dubrovnik institution and this place was going off. It was a night where we all just let our hair down, really had fun, dancing with each other, getting to know other boats and laughing at some pretty terrible moves on the dance floor, which I'll blame on the buckets. For me, a big part of travelling somewhere is the food and I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much on a boat, but I was seriously wrong. Every day we were spoilt with great breakfast, three course lunches, barbecues and traditional Croatian food. French fries, barbecue, bit of dessert. Yeah. This guy's cooked up some amazing grub. Off the boat, our tour leader helped us get into some of the best local restaurants. Everything from fancy sit-down dinners to street snacks was really tasty and super affordable. Ultimate dilemma, do I go the freshly made donuts or the sangria fruit salad? Yeah, okay, I got both. Shush. We celebrated the end of the week by donning our finest pirate threads and walking the plank to a special captain's dinner. A huge feast, a few drinks and a fashion parade showcasing some brilliant costumes and even more spectacular runway moves. 
One of our most memorable nights though had to be in Makaska. This is the highlight of Makaska. We're going into a club in a cave. It's meant to be epic. And epic was an understatement. This was one of the most amazing and unique clubs I've ever been to anywhere in the world. Jagged rock walls all around you, music blasting through the echo with surfaces, and the water lapping up at your feet. It was insane. Oh, it yeah, it was such a now. bad influence. Hold on, hold on. Do you want this one? You'd never imagine that a week at sea sailing around Croatia with a bunch of randoms that you've never met before could be such a breathtaking experience. But we all honestly had the trip of a lifetime. What is the secret to a successful dive off the boat? You gotta be aerodynamic. Yeah, right. <laughs> you gotta be ready to go in the water. You can't be scared. Don't look, just do it. You instantly get there and you kind of instantly feel comfortable. Everyone's like your mate. <laughs> Everyone's kind of keen to actually kind of get to know you and also have like a good time. All the people we meet, they're hard not to love. It's literally the best week I've had in my life. The, the views are amazing, the night last is amazing, the people are amazing, the crew are amazing. Everything is just the best, like you can't get better. When you wake up in the morning and the doors open because it's really hot, the curtain's blowing and all you can see is the blue water, like the green background and beach and that's where you're like, wow, like, this place is amazing. There's so much more to explore of this coast. Like, even spending seven days here. We've seen so much, but I can't wait to come back. Every swim stop has just been the most beautiful water. Everywhere you go, you can see the ground, no matter how deep it is, that just is amazing. Every now and then you just kind of stop into like amazing like place like this, and then you just get the floaties out, you have drinks, you're just like jumping off the boat, everyone's just having a good time. So clear, so pretty. <laughs> I mean, just yeah, be able to See people dive in and just like swim, swim for a few good meters underneath is absolutely un unreal from what we used to. The water is so clear here, it's absolutely stunning. It's like tranquil blue. You can see every depth of the water, seaweed, fish swimming around, it's amazing. This is a beautiful way to see the Croatian coast. You read about Croatia, the warmth of the friendly people, the magnificent history, the beautiful blue waters, and the amazing sunsets at the end of a spectacular summer's day. But all of that, it's nothing until you come and experience it for yourself firsthand. This week has been one of the most incredible times in my life. Making friends, discovering new places, and creating some of the best memories I'll ever have.